Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. I got a new computer. My old one is about eight or nine years old running Windows Vista. Believe it or not, because I usually buy top of the line stuff, even eight or nine years later, it was still running pretty well. The problem is the power supply started going out on me, so I had to coax it along with a hair dryer, and you know, it's starting to really run into some problems. Plus, since it's Vista, Microsoft's not going to support it anymore, and it's just it's time for a new one. So, I went out and I got a new one. Uh, this first computer I actually bought off the internet. Usually, I buy them at stores. Um, <clears throat> I didn't feel like building one myself, although I probably have the knowledge to do so. It's just easier for me to buy something pre-built. That way, if there's a problem, it has a warranty, and I don't really have a clean space, a static-free environment. You know, so on and so forth. I'd be concerned if I put it together, something would get messed up and it would you know interfere with the longevity of the system. So, bought a system off a of Newegg. It's called a Helix Helion. Um, <clears throat> comes with a uh, deep cool genome case. It's got a uh, NVIDIA 980 Ti graphics card. It's got a 360 millimeter uh, radiator liquid cold uh, case. It's got 32 megabytes of uh, <clears throat> 2400 DDR4 RAM. Uh, I think it's just a no-name brand, nothing special. It's got a uh, Pentium i7 uh, 6700. Should run at 4 gigahertz. I don't know if I'm going to try to overclock it at all or not, but it has a uh, Z170 motherboard, so if I did decide to do anything, uh, I could. And. Uh, I'm sure there's some other specs I'm forgetting, but the basic thing is, it's a pretty good freaking computer. Um, I'm mostly a console gamer, however, this will allow me to break into the PC Master Race, even though I have PC game before. Um, this will allow me to run a lot of new games. I'm actually kind of excited for No Man's Sky, which is coming out here pretty shortly, and that's probably what I'll be playing mostly on this system. I'm also going to use it to uh, you know, do some rendering, do my YouTube videos and stuff like that. So it's running Windows 10. I just got to pick myself up, uh, you know, some software for it. And that's my intent. So we'll go ahead and unbox it. Um, it came in a huge cardboard box here. Um, <coughs> came with a uh, keyboard and mouse. Um, I don't need this. This will go for sale on eBay probably. <coughs> We got the box and the info for the uh, motherboard. <clears throat> With the software in case I need it. And then of course, there is the computer itself. Which, let me pull it out here. Oh, geez. So this is it. This is the black and red version of it. There's also a green and black and a white and blue version of this system. I like the black and red one better myself personally, so that's the one I went with. All right, so let me go ahead and open this here. If you uh, don't have one of these little key knives on your keychain, you're messing up because these are awesome. It's either this or some sort of multi-tool because I'll tell you what, this thing really comes in handy. Alright, so this clearly <clears throat> does not sit this way even though the box would lead me to believe otherwise. It should be like this. So, go ahead and use the foam pieces to pull this out of here. Okay, 
So, there we go. So, like I said, it's the uh, Deep Cool Genome case. It's got the uh, custom T virus in the front here. <laughs> it's got some ports on top, your power button. It's got all your fans on the top side. We got some packing foam on the interior here, and you know, nice little letter saying, make sure you take out this packing foam before you start it up. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try not to bore you with that part here, so I just gotta take off some of these thumb screws and pull that crap out, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so two thumb screws out, case just slides right off, it's nice. Set that over here. Pull this garbage out of here. And here we go. So you can see here we got the liquid cold. No, oh, actually, it's not some no no name, no brand memory. It's actually uh, Rip Jaws. Um, I believe it's two 16s that are in there uh, to get to the 32. And we also got, of course, um, I think it's a 750 watt power supply. bunch of fans to keep this thing cool aside from the liquid cooling as well and uh, yeah let me go ahead here and see about getting the rest of this set up sorry I got a little tongue-tied there for a second when I saw this graphics card I didn't think it was the right one and I about freaked the hell out and I immediately ran out, was getting ready to call Newegg and scream at them, but then realized that it was actually the correct one. So <laughs> it's actually a uh, 980 Ti, six gigabyte um, graphics card. It's just I thought it was going to look a little bit different, so that's why I freaked a little bit here. But no, it's actually everything's cool. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the computer it's on the other side of the motherboard, but there's a 480 gigabyte SSD. Uh, for booting and then it's got a three terabyte hard drive in for everything else so yeah I mean I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with this um, I tried to build it myself on some other websites but couldn't come close to Newegg's price I'm hoping that it was manufactured well and that was put together well it says it's made in the USA which makes me nervous however everything looks good We'll see how it holds up over time. Looks like I got, you know, a little bit of space to play with in here. My only complaint is that it doesn't have a lot of, uh, you know, flashy lights and stuff. I do like the the black and red theme throughout, so that is cool. Once I get it fired up, you know, all the uh, the pump itself pulsates, the T virus on the front glows, so on and so forth. So I'm getting excited to check this out. I got some other stuff I got to do on my old computer first. I got to make sure I can transfer over all my files and so forth. Um, but then I'll get this plugged in. When I have it plugged in, I'll uh, you know take some video of it running. I'm interested to see how loud all these fans are. I don't know if you can see or not, but there's three huge fans up here. And there's a big fan here in the back. Plus, the graphics card itself has three fans on it as well. So that's you know, seven fans running in here, and they're all huge uh, fans. So we'll see if this thing sounds like it's an airplane getting ready to take off or not. Uh, but I've seen some mods done to these. A lot of people have done some interior lighting stuff, which is cool. Like I said, we'll see what I want to do with it. Um, the only thing that makes me sad about this case is that there's no place for an optical drive on it. I know maybe it's like the cool new thing to not have optical drives, but you know if I want to watch a Blu-ray or if I want to, you know, burn a music CD or something for my car, I don't know. Um, I can't do that. I got to go buy a separate drive, 
and you know it's not going to sit on top of this it's going to always be falling off and we'll have to then put it on the shelf behind it or something silly and you know that just bothers me that i have to do that they should have just made a spot in here where you know this pops up or something you just stick a disc in but like i said for the price i'm not going to complain too hard about it because it was a very good deal came in right around two thousand dollars um and for this graphics card that motherboard you know the case itself is like 250 bucks you know the 32 gigs of ram uh the hard drives the 480 ssd like i said for me to try to put this together myself with a liquid cold system um i wasn't able to do it for that price it was always coming in a little bit high so good deal we'll see how it works I made this video because there were no other videos of this Helix Helion system online, so there's nothing I could really look at to sort of do a comparison of. I know this probably isn't the greatest video, but at least it's something out there. And anyone who's you know into gaming and stuff, you got a little bit of money laying around, I think this is probably a good system to go with, at least based on my research. Okay, so this is the PC in action. So, as you can see, it's got some bright lights in it. You got your graphics card that pulsates. You got your cooler that pulsates. You got all the fans in here spinning. On the front. You've got the T-Virus that pulsates. So I still think it's a pretty good looking system, but for the life of me, I can't figure out why all the white lights. Why not just carry the red theme throughout? I mean, the little bit of white, I guess, is a cool highlight. But like this T-Virus in the front, that should be red and probably always on, not pulsating. Uh, these bright white lights in here, they needed to be red. Um, so I'm going to say that's a fail. This power button, that should be red. Um, just for as far as the aesthetics, like it looks cool, but it could have been you know twice as cool if they had carried the red theme throughout and dropped some of the white. But I wanted to make sure that you saw what it look like what was running so that's what you got one other thing I should add is <laughs> this is not the computer I unboxed the one I unboxed crashed hard as soon as I plugged it in I don't think the graphics card was installed right it would crash constantly but Newegg made it right for me they sent me another one because I was within my warranty period I mean this this was like within the first week so they sent me another brand new one I unfortunately, however, had installed uh, some software that was only licensed to one machine, but they made good on that too, and they uh, gave me some credit for it. So I think I would buy from Newegg again. This company that makes this computer, um, I don't know. If you buy one of these and you get a working one, I think you're getting a really good deal, but I would definitely make sure that there's a warranty, make sure there's a return policy before you buy one. Pretty sure Newegg is the only place that sells these, so something to keep in mind. But yeah, Helix Hellion, cool system, as long as you get one that works. This is Max Sterling, Warpgasm Gaming. Till next time, game on.